On today's episode, I go to Deseret Peak, and on this particular hike, I didn't do a lot of uh, real-time commentary during the hike just because I wasn't feeling too great, and it kind of took all the energy I had just to get up and down the mountain. Uh, but this is a great late June hike to do uh, when you're kind of still waiting on the snow to melt off of the north facing slopes in a lot of the canyons we have on the Wasatch Front. Uh, the point of this channel is to kind of feature a lot of the off the beaten path type of hikes and Deseret Peak, while it's sort of an unknown hike to a lot of people on the Wasatch Front, it's hard for me to necessarily call it an off-the-beaten-path hike because it is relatively common for people to hike it. But I do think it's just enough of an unknown for a lot of people who stick to the trails along the Wasatch Front that I think it's worth uh, featuring. And it's just an extraordinarily beautiful hike, and not to mention a very good bank for your buck type of hike. What I mean by that is the amount of effort you put into hiking this and the views you get as a result are, you know, the ratio there is, is quite good. The funny thing about this hike is it gets progressively steeper as the hike goes. There aren't a whole lot of peaks and valleys, it's just once you start making that push for the summit, it's basically all gas and no brakes until you get there. Once you get to the top, you have 360 degrees of incredible views. To the west, you have the West Desert. To the north, you have the Great Salt Lake and Antelope Island. And off to the east, you have the Ochre Mountains, and beyond that, the Wasatch Mountains. It's just 360 degrees of goodness. I didn't leave myself as much time as I would have liked to capture some photographs, especially with 
trying to get off the mountain before it's pitch black. But I was able to capture a few with my Z7. This first image was taken with my 14 to 30 millimeter wide angle lens. And I think this direction is the most interesting view from the summit, just looking north towards the Great Salt Lake. This next image is taken with my 24 to 120 millimeter lens, zoomed in on an island on the south end of the Great Salt Lake, and I just really like the way that island is framed here. This next one is taken of North and South Medina Peaks, which are probably the most striking feature in the immediate vicinity. So I thought I'd get a nice zoomed in photo of those. And this last one, I just really like the way the light dances off of the Ochre Mountains here with Mount Timpanogos looming in the background. By the time I started headed down the mountain, my body really wasn't having it at that point. And I, I think whatever viral illness I had come down with was really starting to take its toll. But as is the case with every hike, you got to get your butt off the mountain come hell or high water. And I think that's one interesting life lesson you gain from going out in the wilderness and hiking a lot is you put yourself in a precarious position intentionally which is maybe not the case with life but you find yourself in a precarious position and you know that it's up to you to get yourself out of that situation and uh, that's one thing I, I really do enjoy about hiking is kind of thinking about how it can apply to life even though that can kind of get cheesy sometimes I, I do think that there is some sort of mental toughness that is gained by doing these things.